iOS 13 Beta 1 has been out for a week, and today we're taking a look at some hidden iOS 13 features you didn't know about. So the first one on our list is the ability to access your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth in Control Center. In previous versions of iOS, in order to connect to other Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connections, you have to go to Settings and access the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth settings there. In iOS 13, you can now access this list through Control Center when you press and hold the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth icon. Second one on our list is the new extended reply menu and formatting in Mail. In the stock Mail app, when you're replying to an email, you now have a new extended reply menu which gives you options to reply, forward, or delete, as well as the ability to mute it or notify you in case there's a new email from that specific contact. Another thing that's new is the ability to format your text. You can change the font, make the text bigger, adjust the alignment, change the color, and also add bullet points. Now all of these new features make the stock mail app so much more powerful. Next up is the ability to full page screenshot in Safari. Just like on iPad OS with iOS 13 on an iPhone, you can now also screenshot a full web page that you can annotate on and save it as a PDF directly to files. Or you can also share it with your contacts using the new share sheet window. Number four is the ability to silence unknown callers. New in iOS 13 is the ability to silence unknown callers, so when a robocall comes in, your phone will automatically silence those calls and send those calls to voicemail. Now with the new files app, you can now also zip and unzip files directly from your iOS device without the need to use macOS and airdrop those files back to your iOS device. This is really handy for those who strictly use an iPad as their main computer. Next one up is the new search function in the Messages app. Inside Messages, you now have a new way to search inside the app. This will give you contact suggestions, links that people have shared with you, as well as photos that they've sent you. Next up is if you're a big voice memos user, you can now pinch to zoom in the voice memos app to let you zoom in on the waveform to help you edit your recordings a lot easier. Next up is the downloads manager in Safari. In iOS 13, when you download a file from Safari, you now have access to a downloads manager or a list that shows you your files that you've downloaded, which is similar to what you'd get from Safari on macOS. And now this will sync over to your new files app where you can see all your downloaded files. Now one of the cool features in iOS 13 is optimized battery charging, which essentially uses some sort of machine learning algorithms that use your iPhone to learn your daily charging routine so that your iPhone can wait to finish charging past 80% until you need to use it. Now under accessibility in assistive touch, there's now an option to add a wireless mouse to iOS. Here you can use it to scroll on a document or a web page. You can interact with the whole OS, but it's definitely not perfect, nor is it something that you should use regularly but it is nice to have this option nonetheless. Next one up is inside the settings app under cellular, you now have the option to toggle low data mode, which apparently will help apps use less data. We're not entirely sure how this works, but we're assuming it's suspending background activity when you're not connected to Wi-Fi iOS 13 gives us a clearer picture on what Apple's plans are for non-3D touch capable iPhones. Previously, only iPhones with 3D touch were able to use peak and pop, but on the iPhone XR or any iPad running iOS 13, you can now press and hold for a brief second and access peak and pop. Now this might be a good indication that Apple is planning on ditching 3D touch for future iPhones. And last but not least is haptic feedback for Face ID. A new subtle feature that you can enable under accessibility in Face ID is haptic feedback when you're unlocking your iPhone. It's a subtle tap when the phone authenticates your face, and it's a really nice touch to let you know that you can swipe up and unlock the phone. And that's been it. These are some of the hidden features on iOS 13 Beta 1 that you might have not known about. Now, of course, this isn't the final version of iOS 13, so some of these features could go away or get tweaked. In any case, we'll keep you posted on AppleInsider.com. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.